Thank you for joining me in the studio this fine day. We're going to be drawing a cupcake style birthday cake. We'll put a little uh, candle in it and that way we can light it on fire and sing happy birthday. This will be a fun little one. Should be short. Let's get started. All right, so we're looking at the middle of the page. We got our uh, horizontally laid out paper, right? Not vertical. And we're going to start with our um, candle at the top. We have some overlapping to do. All right, so I'm going to start here. I have the top of my candle, kind of like an oval, near the top of the page. All right, I got a little wick here, kind of an S line here. And then more of a C shape over here and we can put two C shapes inside to kind of make the inside of the flame where it's a little brighter all right underneath that we can make some melted wax by it's almost like a W or a J shape right we're looking for letters and shapes that we already know so we can associate them with things we can already draw I'm gonna bring my candle down if you make this candle really long, you're going to have a really small cupcake. If you make this candle really short, uh, it's going to have a baby candle. You could have a room for a big cupcake. And I didn't make these level on purpose, so I can make a wiggly line. All right. And look at how that line goes out past the candle on both sides. And this will make it look like it's going down inside the cupcake. Then. I come back up here a little bit where the point or the top of the cupcake might be and I come down on one and out and two shapes of letter J right and one more and stop on the other side I can make it a little bit different but still again kind of like the lay letter J shape it shouldn't be perfectly the same because it wouldn't be that perfect in real life. And that one's short. So there. Now what we can do is we can pretend that these uh, go together. All right. So we can make a wavy line to kind of connect them. Although we wouldn't connect the lines fully. All right. Sometimes I talk on here about implied line. An implied line is your imagination connects those lines for the layers of the cupcake. Now I want to connect the bottom of this to make it look wavy like the edge of the frosting. It comes up and attaches. We can add some sprinkles on here. We can add some polka dots to our candle. Let's go ahead and add some polka dots first. Look at how I like to make some polka dots going off the edges and some full. Maybe this one's hiding underneath there. Seems more realistic than trying to make them all fit perfectly inside. We also want to add some sprinkles, right? And sprinkles are just rectangle shapes. And um, since I've been drawing these for a while, I like to do like some of the rectangles or the sprinkles kind of hiding or sticking up from behind. Maybe I'll make one sitting right on the edge of the cupcake. And you can kind of imagine it that way. They shouldn't all be going the same direction. And if you feel like I'm moving too fast, you can pause the video. So we have our sprinkles around the edge. Now inside, all right, just a few. If it was my daughter, she would say, make, make lots of sprinkles. Is it a problem that these are both going the same way? No, we need some uh, diversity. And I suppose the important thing to do here is to make sure that you don't draw more sprinkles then you feel like coloring or nobody wins there great now that's just the frosting we want to do the cake part too it's kind of a C shape right here sticking out the sides this will be the cake not the frosting of the cupcake and then on this side we do like a V shape and start over here on this backward C and make a V shape 
And I'm going to color mine in. It's going to be like a shadow. This will be where the, the wrapper for the bottom of the cupcake goes. All right. And then in here, I'm going to make zigzag lines. For the top of the cupcake wrapper. Sweet. All right. On the edges, uh, don't make this straight down and you're gonna kinda make a diagonal line. I like to give my little diagonal line a bit of a curve, so start here on the left side and come down and curve it in. And we'll try and match it up on the other side just the same. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna come in. Just like that. Make it a little bit longer here. All right, and down here, we can make this shape a little more round um, for the bottom of the cupcake. It doesn't have to have the zigzags. Kind of like a letter U. All right, now, since we know that there are zigzags in here, we're gonna make some of the lines, but not all the lines. Too many lines gets confusing. And there, there you have it, our cupcake. Let's add a little shadow here. Beautiful. Okay, all right. I went with chocolate cake and a yellow wrapper and I got some different colors for sprinkles and icing in the flame. So these are the um, seven colors that I've chosen to go with for this. Let's get started coloring. Here's our cupcake. I hope you had fun time drawing with me and practicing with me and I hope you keep practicing because practice makes progress. I will talk to you guys again soon. Enjoy.